<laughs> Hello there. Hello there. So, uh, didn't do much today. Well, I mean, I did some stuff, but just not in the yard. Plants might survive. It's Let's take a look. Look at him. He's trying to come out of it. Little fella. I see your little leaves there trying. Yeah. Maybe they can survive. Huh? I don't know about the tomatillo, so let's see. Some of them are still... Man, yeah, that one don't look like it's going to make it. But... I don't know. <laughs> Some of those are looking pretty bad. Um, shouldn't be touching it like this. <laughs> Where's my... I think it's gone anyway. I better leave the rest of them alone, not touching them. But that would still be one. Yeah. Down eight. Four, five. Oh, whatever, I can't even count. That's how bad I'm doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and eighteen. And that's, that's a low guesstimate. Oh man, that little yellow pear looks dead. Oh, where is that one? Yeah, wait, no, there. But, <clears throat> this one? No, that's, oh, there's a yellow pear. Well, there might, there could still be some that will grow. So who knows? Maybe a maybe a lot of stuff will still survive. The dill seems all right. A lot of the other ooh, that one don't look so hot. Um, that's straight eight oh heirlooms. I don't want to lose those. Well, yeah, there's still well, at least a few of them that live. I think it looks like uh, <clears throat> a lot of that stuff might live. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I don't know why that stuff might survive. I better get out of here and shut the door though before it loses more temperature. It's down in the 70s now. Okay, I better get out of here. Get my inbox warm. Well, that's at least some positive. Dog, please don't make me fight with you. This is hard enough doing with one, a camera in one hand, <laughs> this door on the other. Okay. Hmm? A Roscoe game? It's not a Roscoe game. Stop it. I'm going to stand on your collar right there. 
Okay. You stand on your collar. Okay. I gotta still move this. Okay, I was digging and getting some of the dirt out of there to fill up my stuff with. I got a lot of these pots filled up. I filled up a lot of the concrete cylinders. I figured I'd put uh, some thyme, some rosemary, or some sage in them. I look in here sometimes and I see the potatoes growing. Yeah, let's see. See, there's some. You can see them there. So there's definitely some potatoes that are growing. Now, this container back here, I'm thinking about putting maybe some cucumbers. I think that's what I was thinking. Let them grow up on the fence. There's this big old tire. I don't know what I'm going to put in that yet. That pot. There's a bunch of pots that I have all over. I don't know what I'm going to put in. The dog going walking through my stuff growing. See, this stuff's all growing pretty good down here. Now this, a lot of this was mixed seeds when I threw them down, so I'm not sure what everything is. That's kale, it looks like, probably. So that's cool. Um, there might be some spinaches and arugulas. And it was a mixed green seeds is what it was. It's the same here. But the dog's killing all this. Look, he's just trampling it. Egg. Nab it. Okay, now I can't even show you. This is what happens. I try to do something cool, and this dog tries to kill everything. <sighs> if I can get him not to run up here, because this, this stuff is. See, this is what the dog does right here. See that? He's not stopping. He wants me to lock him up, I guess. But <clears throat> all this stuff's growing right here. So I'm not, I'm not this dog is making me very unhappy. <clears throat> I can't show you that over there, the dog. I'll show it from a distance. Yeah, he's not looking. See, I don't know what everything is, but... Here he comes. The idea was to just get something growing somewhere. Somehow, you know? In whatever way possible. Um, let's see what's in this. I can't remember, but these seeds, those are radishes and oreganos and stuff. I, I can't remember fennels. And, <laughs> who knows what I planted in there? Um, some of this is probably greens and beets. And, uh, I can see the kale there. And peas and radishes He's doing pretty good and right here I know these are sprouting up whatever it was I planted there more stuff in there growing all the radish seeds just go down and the water comes I guess these radishes these beets, the ones that the dog turned over. And then here's my rhubarb. Isn't that cool? Look at it.
Rhubarb. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I'm being stupid. It's kind of cold out here for sure. You see the little. Yeah. On my current. See? I can't remember if these are the red or the black ones, though. I think that was the red one, this is the black one. Looks a lot like the hosta though. So there's that. plans for it. He's a garden. <laughs> well, <laughs> no. So, there's a bit of stuff. Ahoy. So it's cold out here. A little bit chilly. <laughs> so that's cool. I got some plants and they look like plenty are going to survive there are going to be some that die I get it that's fine I've learned I've learned what have you learned <coughs> did you learn anything from me or not did you learn anything from that dog <laughs> or not <laughs> well so that's cool well I guess we'll uh See how many plants survive. I think in the end, what I've learned and what will survive will show that I've done okay. It's going to be all right. Something good will come out of it. And that's, that is a pretty good A-OK -okay name. Kind of a cold day today. It was even sleeting earlier today. So, when I go in there and I see the plants are still living and some of them have come out of their near dead phase, that's, that's pretty positive. I feel good about that. That means that if I wait till April and start them, and by the time they get to now, I put the heat lamps in there. I think I should be able to do fairly well. I think that's the way I'll do it from now on. I think that'll work for me. I do think that will work for me. It's what I used to do when I was young. And stick my ear out and put the bottle cap on the top of it. <laughs> I was a goofy kid. I'm not goofy anymore, though. I don't get goofy. Only when I was a kid. <laughs> anyway, that's cool. Everything still looks all right. Even the the peaches look all right. And, you know, some of those buds. You know, they've made it through the, there's a bit of a frost, a few frosts and stuff. I think it's going to be all right. I think everything's going to be fine. Hopefully, we'll find out more later when we get more peaches. Um, means I won't have to cover my trees up with sheets <laughs> anymore. See how that, that took a few years to learn that. You know, there's a, through, well, because I, Couple of years there, I was covering them up, trying to protect them, keep, keep the beaches alive, keep the beaches alive. And so this year, I thought I'd go ahead and just not do it at all. Well, the first year I was desperately trying to do it, and then the next year I did it, 
<clears throat> and then going into the last frost, I I didn't, and uh, it still did all right. So this year I didn't put the sheets on at all, and they're still there, still just fine. So I do not think I'm going to have to worry about that again. Um, here's my pretty apple blossom. Oops, oh, there you go. Ain't that pretty? And there's more getting up there too. Although, with the blossoms, and see, this is what I don't know about apple trees. I have three apple trees, but if blossoms only are on one tree. You get apples. See, that's what I don't know. Good question. Go ask me an apple near. <laughs> anyway, that's all I should say for today, I think. There goes the cardinals flying through the yard. Roscoe likes chasing the cardinals. Now, there you have it. I'm done. That's all. Nothing else. Time to go. Blah, blah. Adio. <laughs> Alright. Check you later.